This sealed shell is the key to Popcorn's amazing power. It has to be able to hold back the pressure inside the kernel until the temperature reaches at least 450 degrees Fahrenheit. That's when steam in the endosperm gelatinizes the starch and presses out against the pericarp. Once the kernel starts to go past 450 degrees, it redlines. The pressure within each kernel can be as much as 135 pounds per square inch. To put that in perspective, most car tires can hold about 90 pounds of pressure before exploding. There is so much pressure exerted from the expanding moisture against that outer shell that literally the corn turns inside out and the white fluffy part of uh, popcorn is, is starch. But tapping that power means getting just the right kernels and avoiding the duds, which is what they do at Jolly Time Popcorn in Sioux City, Iowa. Every day, the company trucks in 160 million kernels per load. There's a lot of corn that goes through here every day. So what does it take to make the perfect kernel for popping? The answer is a thick rounded shell with the right amount of moisture inside. It pops best at 13.5% moisture, so our first job as a processor is to dry that corn to the proper moisture content. Getting the moisture level right is the easy part. Moisture determines the kernel's weight. The kernels too dry to pop are shaken out by a specialized device. We call the gravity machine, and a lighter kernel is probably light because it's lost its moisture and therefore won't pop well, so we eliminate that as well. The hard part is making sure the kernel itself isn't damaged. But how do you do that on a line where more than 750,000 of the tiny kernels race by every minute? That's too fast for the human eye to catch defects. So the popcorn is zapped with all-seeing ultraviolet light. If the light sees a discolored kernel, then a shot of air will blow it off the line and eliminate it. Those that pass inspection fire into bags at a rate of 950 kernels every second. It's very confusing at times, but it's a lot of fun. It's chaotic. 200,000 pounds a day and nearly a million pounds a week travel from Jolly Time's corn crib to popcorn bowls around the world. And each of them is a tiny steam-powered bomb, just perfect for munching.